So this is the given section. For this section, we have to calculate the centroid. So when you are going to calculate centroid, the first thing you need to do is you have to identify the basic geometries in the given section. So this is nothing but a combination of uh, two rectangles. So this is one rectangle, this is another rectangle. So if I add those two rectangles, I will uh, have this shaded area. So I will divide the given geometry into uh, two known geometries, nothing but two rectangles here. This is the first rectangle x-axis, y-axis this is the uh, center of this geometry base is 1.5 height is 10 centimeters if I add this rectangle to another rectangle So this is the second geometry. So if I add these two, so then I will get that shaded area. Uh, first, uh, so this is uh, 8 minus 1.5. This is 6.5 and this is 2. First, let us find the area of these two geometries. So area of rectangle is nothing but base into height. 1.5 into 10 so that is equal to 15 centimeter square area of second geometry A2 is equal to base is 6.5 height is 2 so that is 13 centimeter square so first we will find individual centroidal coordinates of these two geometries first let us consider x centroidal coordinate for this one so for rectangle the centroidal coordinates are base by 2 height by 2 so this is base by 2 so which is nothing but 1.5 divided by 2 so it is nothing but the perpendicular distance from y axis so directly you can write 1.5 divided by 2 y1 is equal to height divided by 2 and if you observe from this point the perpendicular distance to up to this axis is 10 divided by 2 so you can write 10 divided by 2 this is 5 this is 0 0.75 let us find the extended coordinate for this one so base divided by 2 this is 6.5 divided by 2 this is height divided by 2 height uh, we came to know that it is 2 then it is 2 divided by 2 1 but what does x coordinate mean it is the perpendicular distance from y axis so this is y axis so this one will be the x centroidal coordinate for second geometry so therefore x2 is nothing but this distance uh, this distance is nothing but 1.5 so 1.5 plus 6.5 divided by 2 so this is x centroidal coordinate this is 4.75 similarly y2 is the perpendicular distance from x axis to this point so directly you can write 2 by 2 which is equal to 1 centimeter right so in order to find x bar we have one relation x bar is equal to sigma a i x i divided by sigma a i similarly y bar is equal to sigma a i y i divided by sigma a i so here we are having only two geometries so then x bar relation will become a1 x1 plus a2 x2 divided by a1 plus a2 just substitute the values of a1 x1 a2 x2 a1 is 15 x1 is 0 0.75 plus a2 is 13 x2 is 4.75 divided by a1 is 15 a2 is 13 if you simplify this one you will get the value of x bar you will get 
टू पॉइंट सिक्स जीरो सेवन सेंटीमीटर्स सो दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स बार सिमिलरली इफ यू वॉन्ट टू फाइंड वाई बार सेम रिलेशन वाई बार इज इक्वल टू ए वन वाई वन प्लस ए टू वाई टू डिवाइडेड बाई ए वन प्लस ए टू ए वन इज फिफ्टीन वाई वन इज फाइव प्लस ए टू इज थर्टीन वाई टू इज वन डिवाइडेड बाई फिफ्टीन प्लस थर्टीन सो इफ यू सिंप्लीफाई दैट वन यू विल गेट वाई बार दैट इज थ्री पॉइंट वन फोर सेंटीमीटर्स दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ सॉरी This is the value of y centroidal coordinate. Thank you for watching. Hope you like this video. If you like this video, click on like button and don't forget to subscribe.